All right, art students, today we're going to be drawing an animal called a narwhal. N-A-R-W-H-A-L, narwhal. They're sometimes called the unicorns of the sea. And I'll show you why in just a little bit. So go ahead and grab your pen, your paper, pencil, whatever you need to draw with. And here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a big curve line. Comes up comes back down and it's going to curve now i want you to look it's almost like a stretched out teardrop shape because it goes up curves back goes back down and it's getting closer together okay we'll come under here and you're going to draw a fin that goes down and back and then you're going to go up in the middle inside this shape that you made. And you're going to draw another one. One, two. I want to make them about the same size. Same size. I'm going to put one line, two line. And we're going to go over here. And you're going to put a curved line. And a little C shape for the mouth. Go up here. Circle. Color it in. Going to leave a little bit of it white. And that's the eye. Curve over the top of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, curve over the top of it. And now this is why they're called the unicorns of the sea. Because they're kind of almost like a dolphin or a whale, but they have a big horn that comes up out of the front. So you're going to go up. And you're going to come back down. And you're going to put some lines on it. And that's why they're called the unicorns of the sea, because they have a facial horn. And so they're obviously in the ocean, so we're going to draw some water. So we're going to draw some splashing. So you come up, and you just want to make a bunch of points, like the water is just splashing up. And you can connect them together, or you don't have to, it's up to you. See how some of my water is touching and some of it isn't. So that's the that is the water as it's splashing up. And we're going to draw a couple raindrop shapes. So you curve up, curve back around, curve up, curve back around, and that's just the water splashing up. You can put those wherever you want. And then we're going to do some waves that come behind it, like it's the water is behind it. Do some more waves here. And you can put the waves wherever you want. So we're going to come here and put a little line in the fin here. A little line in the fin there. And some uh, narwhals or norwhals, however you want to say it. Some people say narwhal. Some people say norwhal. So they have little spots on them. So if you want to give it some little weird looking blob spot shapes you can and you can color those in they're usually like a gray or a brown on the actual animal so if you want to do a couple of these little splotchy shapes feel free totally up to you And like I said, they can be colored um, brown or gray. Uh, most of the, the narwhals, they're like a light gray or a white, maybe a really, really light brown. But most of the time, they're really light, light, light color gray. So there you go. There is a narwhal, also called the unicorn of the sea. Hope you had fun. Hope you have a great one. Be safe. Stay creative. Take care.